The COVID-19 pandemic was a big wake-up call to the world about the importance of getting new medicines to the public quickly and safely. Life Sciences leader says that artificial intelligence is the key to speeding up the drug discovery process and they're well placed to lead the way on this. I'm Rosanna Lockwood and I'm in Davos where I sat down with the company's head of artificial intelligence and automation in drug discovery. Ashwini Gagari, Head of AI and Automation and Drug Discovery. It's fantastic to have you here with us in beautiful Davos, Switzerland, where it's just begun to snow. Uh, of course, we're here to talk about some very serious issues, given the uh, subject matter that your company tackles, doing some fascinating things in the life sciences space and in drug discovery, which, as so many of us know, since the pandemic is absolutely vital to everyone's health, to the future of the human race as well. Uh, but also just fascinating to learn what you're doing with that technology. So let's let's dive straight in and find out. Start by telling us a little bit about the missions and principles for the company. Yeah, thank you, Rosanna, for the kind introduction and to TBD Media for this and a chance to talk about what our company does. is a global diversified science and technology company that has been advancing human progress for the last 360 years. We have leadership position in three fast-growing markets life science, healthcare, and electronics. I feel like with our strength in three different sectors, we, are, we always create discoveries and push boundaries of science of what's possible. We work with our customers and partners together to create impact in life and health with science. It's an absolutely broad spectrum business across the life sciences uh, sector, as you've just painted there. But let's talk a little bit about drug discovery, because I know that's something that you obviously specialise in with your role. And, and talk to us a little bit about some of the challenges that can sometimes be faced trying to get a new drug onto the market. Absolutely. Traditionally, researchers, the way they go about discovering new drugs, they have to screen huge library of compounds and to identify even one molecule that has potential. Then they do numerous thousands of experiments to be able to um, optimize that molecule to a drug candidate, which means to increase its potency. Even after being successful through labs, a lot of these molecules fail as they go through clinical phases. And so um, statistically, only about 10% of the compounds that go through phase one actually make it to the market. So if you look at the whole scenario, um, I want to say it takes, on an average, about 12 years and 2.6 billion to bring one drug to market. And so considering all these challenges, it is not surprising that scientists and researchers are looking at the unparalleled potential of AI and automation to help accelerate drug discovery, as well as bring better therapies to patients much faster. Let, let's go into that in more detail then. Can't resist because it is fascinating. You said that, you know, the old human processes of bringing drugs to market, expensive, timely. Automation, artificial intelligence, how is that changing things? Great question. And we've been seeing in recent times, um, you know, tremendous increase in use of AI and automation in all aspects of life and industry, including healthcare and life science. If you specifically dive into drug discovery, AI has tremendous potential to help in identifying novel drugs, to increase the potency of the drugs, as well as ability to deliver better therapies to patients much faster. You know, we've looked at recent reports, shows the potential of AI and automation to save up to 70% of time and cost in pharma discovery, which could lead up to 70 billion in saving by 2028. And so this huge potential of AI is quite evident, and researchers are truly trying to leverage this by implementing smart technologies in R&D as well as production. But the challenge is the availability of these tools in a more simple, reproducible, or more uh, you know, critical, as well as in an easy, accessible way. We have combined our expertise in healthcare, life science, and electronics to build um, smart enabling platforms for our scientists for them to leverage this in a much easier way for drug discovery. One example is a recently launched platform called Addison. This is an AI-enabled drug discovery solution 
which combines, combines the power of AI, um, as well as data in drug discovery and machine learning. So looking at the whole scenario, it is quite clear that implementation of AI is gonna be super important in success of R&D projects across healthcare and life science. At the start of our conversation, you, you laid out all the various business sectors. How do they work together sometimes to address the challenges you're talking about? I think our company is really uniquely positioned um, with our expertise in three different sectors. And the combinatorial effect of our deep experience in drug discovery, our capabilities in chemistry and biology, and our innovation in digital to provide smarter, you know, AI-enabled solutions, as well as, um, I would say, robust scientific methods to our scientists. And um, we've been able to do so, for example, we have been able to combine our expertise in chemistry and AI to build Addison, our AI drug discovery solution. And so this is the first commercial platform in which we have brought machine learning models that are trained on pharmaceutical data, which is validated experimentally. What that means is for a scientist, they will be able to design compounds that are much more robust and experimentally proven. And so throughout this process, we have seen scientists being able to leverage Addison to um, generate new ideas for disease areas of their interest with generative AI. They're able to um, traverse the whole universe of chemical space and identify drug-like compounds. At the same time, they're able to refine their search and find the right drug candidates that are most you know, potent. But they're also able to leverage um, Cynthia, which is a retrosynthesis design software, to be able to identify best and efficient processes to make these compounds. So all in all, right, with the help of Addison and Cynthia, scientists will be able to access intelligent technologies and algorithms, data that is experimentally proven, as well as robust scientific methodologies to bring better therapies to market. Now, we've gone into quite some level on the technical side of things. Let's just pull out and talk about where that sits in the grand scheme of things, because the pandemic changed the way a lot of people think about life sciences. How did you find it impacting the way you do your work? Is there better understanding now of the impact your work can do? Yeah, so since the beginning of COVID, our society has gone into a lot of change and uncertain times where science has been the beacon of hope. And our scientists across the globe have been phenomenal in creating breakthroughs in R&D, as well as in production to bring these vaccines to market. And we have been leading sort of this phenomenon of bioconvergence, where we bring in technology as well as experts from different sectors to drive innovations, innovative solutions. When you say convergence, it makes me think of cooperation, which is the theme under which the World Economic Forum is actually taking place this year in, in Davos, in Switzerland. Cooperation in a fragmented world, they say, to avoid a decade of instability and inactivity. Given what you've seen, especially recently during the pandemic, do you have faith that there can be cooperation? Absolutely. I think our global response to pandemic is a great example of stellar and positive cooperation between private and public sector. For example, we've been proud to help more than 80 vaccine developers to build COVID vaccine during the unprecedented time. And so as a vision-driven company, as a science-driven company, we will continue to build these strategic partnerships um, to bring innovative solutions to market. And we urge the, everybody to sort of collaborate across the countries as well as different sectors um, to continue to create impact, both in life as well as health with science and technology. A very positive note to end on. Ashwini Gagar, yeah. Head of Artificial Intelligence, Automation and Drug Discovery. It's been fascinating hearing about the work you do. Thanks so much for joining us here in lovely Davos, Switzerland. Thank you for the invitation. It's been a pleasure to be here.